Well, well, well. Welcome to another entry into Dan's Beard's Diaries. Now, before we jump into things, let me give a little background for those of you that don't know. I had a beard, well, long story short, I had a beard, the beard was shaved, and now I'm growing it back out. And while I'm growing it back out, I'm documenting everything with hopes of sharing tips pertaining to growing a beard. With all of that said, I have an announcement to make. No, I'm not shaving my beard. And I'm not letting anyone get close to my beard because we know what happened last time. The big announcement is that competition prep has officially started. For those of you that don't know, I am a men's physique competitor and I compete in the INBA, PNBA as a professional athlete. Now, that brings up a question. Let me know if you'd like some insight into what exactly a competition prep is comprised of. Please let me know in the comment section below. And um, yeah, if, if I get some feedback pertaining to wanting to see that, I'll go ahead and incorporate that into this channel. Now, for the situation at hand today, we're going to go ahead and we are going to clean up the beard. I mean, the cheek line is looking a little rough, so I'm going to clean that up a little bit along with the side of the beard. There we go. First things first, in regards to how I clean up my cheek line, I use a eyeliner pencil to give me a line to trace. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I go ahead and I follow the natural cheek line that I have for the most part, and I go from my sideburn to my mustache with a nice gradual curve. Just like so. So right here, nice gradual curve. Boom. And then I go ahead and I do the same thing on the other side. Front of the sideburn to the mustache. And I make sure that both sides are even, which they are. Now the next step, we grab a micro razor, eyebrow shaper, whatever you want to call it, and just trace along the lines that we've drawn. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Now that the cheek lines are done, we're gonna go ahead and go straight down from the ear, straight down along the beard, and just clean up the side of the beard. This part's really simple. I'm gonna grab a razor and go, again, gonna go straight down from my earlobe, right down along the side of the beard. And I'm gonna do a gradual curve at the bottom. Again, this part is very simple. Razor, nothing special about this razor. A mirror, and you just go straight down from your earlobe, straight down along the beard, and just a nice subtle curve up under the beard. So just like this. Down, nice subtle curve underneath. Same thing on the other side. Going straight down from the earlobe again, and a nice subtle curve under the beard. Pretty much the most simple part of taking care of a beard is this side beard line. The cheek lines have been cleaned up, the side of the beard has been cleaned up, and again they were, I mean it was fairly easy and it's just a subtle change but it definitely makes a world of difference in regards to the presentation of your beard. Uh, yeah, and I mean underneath the beard I didn't really have to do anything because the front of the beard is at the length to where there's no maintenance involved For the neckline at this point. Well at least in in my opinion and with that said as far as my opinion If you do have any recommendations or tips of your own or do you think there's something different? I should do with my beard leave it in the comment section below I'm sure the community will definitely want to take a look at that because I my opinion is not the only one that counts in regards to a beard. This is just how I do it. 
Yeah, with all that being said, I hope you found this video useful, perhaps intriguing. If you did, give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. Until next time, peace.